Hello, I have the KiwiCo Maker Crate Punch Needle Pillow Kit and I've said that correctly and it's taken a few goes so I'm excited that I got through that. That's the highlight of the video. It's all downhill from here but we can all be proud of me for managing to say it. This contains everything that I need to make a pillow such as this with the punch needle embroidery method which is not a method that I've tried. It's a method that I've wanted to try so I was excited when this popped up in my subscription because KiwiCo lets you know in advance what you're getting. Um, so I was excited to see this and go, yes, finally I get to have a go on punch needle. It's an embroidery technique where you literally punch the threads through the fabric and end up with long loops or short loops. Loops of varying lengths depending on the effect that you're going for. So I'm going to stop talking about punch needle now and instead I'm going to go and open this box and show you what's inside because it is really packed with quite a lot of stuff. Let's see what's in this box. So we'll take this off elegantly and with great skill and sophistication. Oh, I'm wobbling my tripod. Now is this sealed because I didn't bring it? No, it isn't. This actually came in a larger box. Normally they just send the box itself. So let's see. We have got the cover sheet that tells us what this kit is about. It's the punch needle pillow. We've got a short guide, I am wobbling the tripod, I do apologise, a short guide to the punch needle process, colour theory, that sort of thing. We've got the pillow, which is going to inflate, but I'll do that later. We've got the monk's cloth, which is actually an all-in-one piece, because I've watched the instructions. So that's, that's the bit that we're going to be putting the design on and these two flaps will fold over and create the back of the pillow. But that's where the design is going to go on that cloth there. We've got carbon paper for transferring our chosen design. We've got the frame for holding the fabric uh, tightly so that we can punch needle it. We've got uh, eight balls of yarn in seven colours. They do recommend generally to use this cream as the background because you get more of it. But I'm... Um, I was going to say, but I'm not doing that, except that I am doing that. Let's actually just have a little closer look at this yarn. It doesn't say, but I would suspect it's uh, just a, a standard acrylic. We've got a little bag of tricks here, which I'll open up over here, where I can see what I'm doing. Bear with me. Okay, so this is... Fabric tape for when I'm sewing the cushion together. A disappearing ink pen so that I can mark the design onto the fabric and two hand sewing needles and some thread. I don't know if I'm going to hand sew, I might machine sew it. I'll see how I feel. We've also got the punch tools which I'll show you in a second and the design templates are at the bottom. So there's things like the rainbow, stripes, Oh, I've ripped them, but I'm not using them, so it's okay. Oh, that's a blank one in case you feel like designing your own. Little half circles. I really like that one, actually. And there should be spots. I've actually gone onto the website and downloaded one of their designs from the website, one of their printables, which is that one there, which I've just realised I may have printed out slightly too small. Let's just check. No, oh, no, it's fine. It'll be fine. It's great. It's good and exciting. So that's the one I'm going to use. That's available for free on the website. You'll find the link under the instructions. Now, the punching tools, or punch tools, sorry. Punching's a bit violent. So this is a two-part system here because we have... Ow! <laughs> a really sharp needle threader. Watch yourself if you're getting that out. So that's, well, that's two threaders, actually, for the, um, for the punch needle. Ow! And this is the needle itself. So I'll thread the, I'll use the threader obviously to get the yarn up through the needle and then through the eye. And then I can choose how long I want the loop so I can have them very long. You can't see that. Very long. Let me get a white so you can see. So that's the longest setting, but you can adjust the setting to whichever setting you like to create the loops. That you want to create and I'm having a think and I think what I'll do is the design in this length which is uh, C and then the background in a shorter length so I'll get some texture but I'm going to now go and set all this up transfer my design onto the monk cloth which is this I remind you unless I'm bleeding on it no um, 
and get started. So, oh, and knock the tripod. Uh, it's because I've jabbed myself. I'm in quite a lot of pain. I'm not in that much pain. I'm being dramatic. Okay, I'm going to stop being dramatic and go and get started on this.
and as if by magic, pillow. It came out really well and I'm, I had such a good time doing it. This was so much fun. Uh, it was really, really good to, to finally try punch needle. It's kind of soothing, it's meditative, it's great. And you end up with a pillow or whatever else you're making in punch needle, I suppose. You heard how solid that was. I think I made a rookie mistake. You, I put a loop in every hole because I was full of youthful exuberance and bounciness and excited to be punch needling. You could easily get away with putting it in half the holes and they do say in the instructions that you can save time by only punching half the holes. But um, I was just way too enthusiastic, I think. So what I have is a very solid pillow front with some very, very dense looping. And maybe that's what I was going for. So there is a little bit of texture difference, not as much as I was hoping, but again, that might be my technique. Uh, if you've watched this and you do know how to punch needle, leave something constructive in the comments. Let us all learn from your vast knowledge of punch needling. It would be very kind of you. There is some texture difference. The coloured motifs are actually one loop longer than the background, but it doesn't really show up because of how dense it is. So you can sort of see it just in there a little bit. Um, but that's like, I'm not bothered. And there is a little gap between the main background and the border, but that has been swallowed up somewhat. I didn't go right up to the edges and I'm glad I didn't because I don't think I would have been able to sew it closed. And if you watched the montage, you probably noticed that one of the flaps didn't get sewn closed properly the first time, but I have gone in and fixed that. So it's okay. I didn't use the machine in the end because I wasn't going to be able to get this particular piece of, oh, can't, you can't even see it. This particular piece of punch needling wasn't going to go under the foot. So I did it by hand. I did a whip stitch rather than a running stitch, but I don't suppose it makes any difference. The quality of the kit is, as always, top notch because Kiwi Co really do provide good quality materials for whatever it is that they're making you do. Not making you do, for whatever it is they're sending you, the materials are top quality. I did have a problem with the punch needle tool and I don't know if it's a problem with this particular punch needle tool or if it's a broad problem with punch needle tools in general. Basically you can lock the loops to whichever length you want, so that's the shortest length there or you can take it all the way up. To the longest length and that's what carries the yarn through and creates the length of the loops. This pops out of place really easily and again I don't know if that's just a general punch needle tool thing. At first I thought I was hitting it with my finger or holding it incorrectly but I figured out that it's when there's any grab or, or resistance in the fabric it'll just clip out. If you do punch needle I would like to, I'd be curious to know if that is a universal problem with punch needle tools or if it's just this one. But otherwise everything else was fantastic and now I have a really cute pillow of any, you know, you don't have to put it any particular way up. So yes, I'm excited and I'm glad that I got to try punch needle and I'm glad that I've got a pillow. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's other videos around, there'll be one on the screen, whatever. You know, all the YouTube stuff, the usual YouTube stuff. I will just say before I go that my dog did punch me in my face just before I started uh, recording this. So there is a red mark on my chin and thank you very much for not leaving a comment about it. You take care, I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Thanks for watching, bye.